Welcome, welcome, welcome. I want to come to you and simply say thank you. Thank you so much for tuning in. This is Mr. Carson coming to you live. Mr. Successful coming to you live from my home office to you via my webcam. And I want to encourage you to continue to listen to these, continue to pass them along, share them with other people, can share, share them with people that you know that's struggling, people that you know that's going through, people that you know that's struggling, whether it's uh, mentally, whether it's emotionally or financially, share these messages. And I simply want to say thank you so much for tuning in. I don't take it for granted anything anybody does for me or to me i don't take it for granted or what anybody shares with me so i want to say thank you as well to my my friends my family my staff more importantly thank you so much your encouragement has meant the world to me um it has meant the difference between giving up and going on so i say thank you so thank you for tuning in i want to share with you today a powerful message message that I'm going to bring to you and share with you today. And that message is entitled, continue to be successful. Continue to be successful. Let nothing and no one on earth stop you from being successful. I want you to make it up in your mind today that nothing to no one, no circumstance, no situation, no height, nor debt can stop you from being successful. Okay. So continue to be successful. Move forward. Don't let the don't be shackled and hostage to your past. The past is the past. It has happened. Uh, was it devastating? Yes. Was it was it calamitous? Yes. Was it was it tearful nights, lonely nights? Yes. But now you are here. Other people, if they would have put on your shoes, wouldn't have made it. So I encourage you to move forward, to go forward to a glorious future, to a glorious new day and new beginnings and say to yourself, I will continue to be successful. And there's three strategies that I would like to share with you for you to reach that goal, for you to go after your dreams, your goals, your desires, as I am going for mines, I encourage you to follow me in this pursuit, in this quest for us, you and I, to continue to be successful. And these three strategies are life-changing. They're powerful. They're life-altering. And I want you to write these down. Play them in your conscious and your subconscious mind. Play them when you're going to work. Play them when you are laying down at night. Turn off the TV because these messages are powerful. And there's three strategies I want to share with you. And the three strategies are simply this first one. Get rid of your negative thinking. Stop being a sabotage. Stop sabotaging your own success, your own masterpiece. You are your worst enemy. The war is either won or lost here in your mind. I shared that with you in my last seminar, that, that, that this is the battleground. And what you let in it determines where you're going. In fact, one of the greatest books in the world says this, has concluded this, has deduced this, that whatsoever a man thinketh, so is he. So if you're poor, it's because you're thinking poorly. Your decisions have left you where you are. The decisions that have gone through your mind, that have raced through your thoughts, you are where you are based on your thinking. So I, so I come to you to tell you to stop thinking negative. Stop thinking that you can't do it. That you're not smart enough. That you're not good enough. That you're not creative enough. God has never made anything that wasn't creative. How could somebody be creative and they don't make the thing that they have made produce and it doesn't, it is not creative. You are a creative being. You are smart. You do have what you need. You do have what is necessary. As long as you are a bleep on the monitor, you have an opportunity. As long as you have a pulse, you have an opportunity. And I want you to tell yourself every day, every night, I will continue to be successful. And I'm talking about overall success. Make no mistake about it. I just don't want financial success. 
I want to be physically healthy. I want there are six laws of success, and I'm gonna share those with you in, in seminars to come. But but I want you overall success. I want you successful in your mind, in your spirit, in your soul, in your body, in your friendships, in your relationships. I want you, I want that for you and for me to be have success. Every time you wake up, you you feel that that feeling that I've made it. I did something significant with my life. I fought the good fight of faith. I didn't give up. I didn't give in. And you can do it. I can do it. We can do it. But we must fight the battle of negativity in our thoughts. And I want you to write to yourself. I want you to say to yourself, I evict every negative thought that comes against my mind. Every thought of suicide, every thought of depression, every thought that I can't make it, every thought that I'm not educated enough, I'm not smarter enough, I'm, I'm, I'm not better. You are. Who told you that? Stop holding yourself hostage to depression. Stop holding yourself captive to negative thoughts. And I want you to say to yourself, I will continue to be successful. I am a winner. I will not fail. I will not give in. I will not give out. I don't care if you did try it a, a thousand times. Someone's told me, someone once shared this with me. They said, I didn't fail a hundred times. I just found out a hundred ways that it didn't work. Go at it again. Do it again. Try it again. Submit the, the grant again. You will never know until you reach the point where you want to reach. If you give up now, giving up requires no effort. You can stay in bed and do that. But it takes hard work. It takes perseverance. It takes the will. It takes the guts. It takes tenacity to say, I will continue to be successful. So I want you to evict all negative thoughts. I want you to get rid of, of all negative thoughts. And I want you to be good and kind to yourself and tell yourself, I will win. I will be successful. I will have what I want to have, eat what I want to eat, drive where I want to drive and live how I want to live. What was the point? What's the point? If you cannot be happy, what's the point then? So that's strategy one. Get rid of negative thinking. The second strategy is the most powerful one. And I encourage you to do this, to implement these strategies today. Don't wait next week. Don't wait next month. Don't wait next year. Implement these strategies strategies today. The second one is this. Change the company that you keep. One of the most popular and the most uh, sold books in the world shared this. Bad company corrupts good manners. If you show me your friends, I'll show you your future. Thieves hang out with thieves. Liars hang out with liars. Losers hang out with losers. Rich people hang out with rich people. Winners hang out with winners. It's just that simple. It's just that simple. If you show me your friends, I'll show you your future. Stop hanging out with people that's sabotaging your future, your goals, your dreams, your ambitions, your desires to become wealthy, your desires to have the best. Cut off everybody that looks at you awkwardly and say, well, why are you thinking about that? Well, why do you want to visit there? Negative people can be catastrophic, can be calamitous to your destiny. Watch the hands that you shake because people are going to come into your life for one or two reasons and one or two reasons only. And I'm going to share this with you because this is powerful what I'm about to say. This is so powerful. I'm talking to you. I'm talking to every student that I've educated, every student that I have taught, every student that I have micromanaged. I'm talking to every person that has sat down, that I have lectured, every man and woman. I'm going to share this with you. People are going to come into your life for one reason and one reason only. One, that's either to add or multiply. Two, that's either to divide or subtract. Now, it's up to you to discern. Which one are they going to do? Because when they ex exit your life, when they ex exit your time, when they leave your presence, they either have left something or they have taken away something. And I and you don't have time for that. We are at the brink of great success. We must monitor the company that we keep. We don't have time for the naysayers. We don't have time for negative people. We don't have time for doubting Debbies. They need to leave. Guard and monitor the company that you keep. 
Before you know it, you don't even know why you're depressed. Before you know it, you don't even know why you feel down. You don't even know it because people will come into your life and they will either easily deposit something in you or they will take something away from you from you and they have changed your your whole mindset your whole emotions your whole equilibrium and you are further away from your goal than you intended to be so i encourage you i come to you watch the company that you keep guard your heart and protect your heart as well as your mind be selective in who you choose to keep company with Everybody doesn't need to be your friend. I heard a pastor say this one time. Some, some, some people only deserve two things from you and two things only. That is hello and goodbye. Hello and goodbye. Give them the courtesy of the day. Give them the greeting of the day. But let that be all. Have discernment over the people that you select to be your friends. I tell my students that, and I, and I share that with them. The reason you all end up in bad situations, the reason you end up in situations that you are knowingly uh, are questioning and doubting, and you ask yourself when you get to the place where you didn't want to be, how did I end up here? You can trace it to the company that you have kept. So strategy three, and these are powerful. Strategy three, keep away from bad habits. Learn to master you. Learn that you are the work. You are what needs to be worked on. Before you try to work on anybody else, work on you. Rather than pointing out somebody else's faults, before you criticize somebody else again, before you point out somebody else, but you know, the best book that I have read says before you point out a beam in somebody else's eye, get, get the beam out of your own eye. Work on you. Work on your bad habits. Get rid of your ba bad habits. Evict your bad habits. Go to bed at night. Turn off the TV. Half of that stuff on TV is worthless. It has no significance. It has no heavenly or earthly significance. In fact, it's a waste of time. You've gained nothing and you and, and consequently though you, you lost everything. You lost time, you lost energy, you lost joy. I, do I watch reality shows? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I watch Donald Trump's Apprentice because I think he's a great businessman. I think he's a fascinating man. I watch uh, Undercover Boss. All of these shows Teach me how to be a better businessman, how to be a better negotiator, how to be a better salesman. These are shows I watch. Okay, the uh, Amazing Race. Watch competitive shows, shows that that challenge you to be better, do better, go further in life. And I encourage you: go to bed at night, eat better, eat better. The body we only have one body. What you do to it today will out. Play what was going to happen tomorrow. So you want to live longer. You want to you want to do better. You want to do more for your family, friends, and your loved ones. Treat your body right. 75% of the body is made up of water. So that means 75% of the time you should be drinking water. Get a diet full of healthy lean meats, vegetables, and fruits. Fruits are very good for you. They're great at antioxidants, great for the skin complexion, great for skin texture, great for skin tone, and plus they decrease abdominal fat. Do that. Treat yourself good. Treat yourself nicely. Respect your body. You only have one. Go to bed on time. Okay, stop gossiping. Get rid of gossip. Oh my goodness. The very negative seed. If you cannot tell the person to their face, don't say it or share it. Share it behind their back. Get rid of that and get rid of everybody else who shares and spreads gossip. Because that's calamitous to your dreams, your goals, and, and where you're trying to head. So strategy one, get rid of negative thoughts. Strategy two, watch and monitor the company that you keep. People are going to come into your life for one and two reasons and one or two reasons only. That's either to add or multiply. Two, either to subtract or divide. They're going to bring something or they're going to take something. But it's up to you now to decide which one they're going to do. You have power over your own life. You are the deciding factor in the equation and the outcome 
of where you're going. And strategy three, take care of yourself. Get rid of bad habits. Pay who you owe. Rich people and educated people are responsible and accountable. And if you want to achieve great success, you must willing you must be willing to do the things today that others won't do, to have tomorrow that others won't have, have the things tomorrow that others won't have. And that means being a better you, not settling for less, not accepting less, not giving in to less. I want you to say this to yourself.